Okay, so this is uh, video number nine. Uh, I got a bunch of things I want to talk about. I don't really have a list, so I'm hoping not to forget anything or repeat myself too much. So here we go. You'll notice that the front end of this boat changed. I and you you look at other the a couple of the past videos. I had originally wanted a bumper style push uh, front end on this boat kind of like a barge has or not a barge but a tugboat I ended up cutting that off because I didn't like it and I didn't want it to catch waves uh, uh, this boat's gonna be bad enough about you know slapping the fr flat front end against you know big waves obviously it's not the kind of boat you want to go mess around in 10 foot seas in um, but you know that all depends on the seas because they come in uh, all kinds of varieties 10 foot choppy seas you know would be terrible 10 foot big rolling swells it might be okay so the the ocean is uh, um, extremely powerful there's tons of different kinds of seas that can come at you but with this landing craft fr front end and this landing craft uh, you know door that opens up here it creates quite a bit of flat front end on this boat so um, so I cut that off I got away from that whole tugboat wanting to push something and I I cut that stuff off which was there um, these I left at uh, 40 degree angles and that's that's there'll be a pocket welded there that the landing craft door will come up inside this pocket and uh, be a, a pocket that it slips into which will be completely waterproof so any of the waves that hit the front end can't come in the boat because it's uh, inside this waterproof pocket um, so that box right there is gonna hold the anchor chain and the anchor line and uh, have an electric motor, hopefully a windlass, and uh, to uh, retrieve the anchor and stuff. And and uh, I left on both sides. I left this one off because I want to try and reach inside there and weld some of this stuff. Um, and over here, this this box, pretty much identical, is going to be for uh, crab pots and uh, shrimp pots, and there'll be a. a small crane pole uh, right on the back side there and again another electric winch to retrieve that stuff and uh, there'll be um, two doors one door right there and another door right here on each of these boxes just to be able to get inside there and uh, if you ever want to get inside there plus I need to get inside there and weld it these boxes were kind of tricky to put together. I really wanted to weld everything inside the box before I put this side panel on. But uh, just the difficulty of putting it together by myself and everything like that, I, I ended up not doing it that way. So, so now that's part of the reasons for the doors that'll go in there is access for me to get inside there and weld and uh, really box that up in there because it needs quite a bit of stiffeners on it you know this whole this whole thing across the front I mean that's just that flat piece of metal there even though it's quarter inch uh, it needs um, quite a bit of stiffening you know because uh, like I keep saying I don't, I'm repeating myself again the ocean is uh, incredibly powerful and uh, if you don't put enough stiffeners on this it will rip this whole front end right off believe me so lots of stiffening to do still. I drew a black line right there and that's the height of the floor. And that's also why, you know, this bulkhead and that bulkhead there are taller than the last two bulkheads that are in the back because this floor. So you'll actually step down into the cabin that's in the back of the boat. That's why those last two bulkheads are shorter. You'll step down into the cabin. Uh, so 
definitely changed the front end of the boat. Uh, last time on the last video, I was trying to weld up the um, triangular shaped gussets. And uh, let's talk about that now. So what happened and what I noticed looking down the length there is you also see I put this rub rail on right here. And um, I was welding these triangular shaped gussets, those there. And I started at the back of the boat and um, what I noticed was this bulkhead kind of got wavy on me right here across there. And uh, so I stopped. And then I also had been noticing that the sidewalls were kind of trying to get wavy on me also down the side of the boat. So I needed to put this rub rail on there and I wanted to put two rub rails on there, you know, and split the difference. But I had so much wave going on, I had caught it a little bit too late that I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get two on there. And so I put one on basically right in the middle. And I'm pretty happy how it worked out, honestly, because the wave was um, fairly bad, you know, a tad. I should have put that rub rail on just as soon as I had these sidewalls on, you know, before I did any of this interior stuff, just to keep the sidewalls nice and flat and wave free. And you can also notice now I put this uh, six inch walk around all the way to the front on both sides, goes all the way up and stops at the boxes. I, I still need to put this one across the transom here. I've got the triangles in there. The little gussets are all in here. I just got to put a piece across and then the walk around will be complete. Obviously the cabin, you know, sits on here, goes vertical. And uh, so all these triangular shaped gussets underneath it, they support the weight of the cabin. And uh, you know, along with, you know, everything else that I've tried to do on this boat as far as overbuilding it, I put those triangular shaped gussets on one foot centers. So I'm pretty happy with that. It was quite a bit of work. Uh, ended up being almost 60 of them. And they're all on one foot centers, but um, I'm, I like that because, uh, you know, it's not gonna be spongy under your feet and it'll support the weight good. And uh, there's gonna be a lot more, you know, boxes and things um, that'll be welded, you know, inside. I mean, it's, it's not over. It's just the, still just in the beginning stages here. Um, but like I said all along on this boat, you know, I want to weld everything full length and uh, I've talked about that before and you know, I guess a commercial commercial boat builder who does this every day, you know, it's all about labor costs and things like that, but I have the time to do it, so um I just believe in, you know, full length welds, so uh that's what I'm doing. So between those two boxes up front, we have just under eight feet of distance there. That front deck is gonna be, you know, the, the entire deck is gonna be uh, 14 feet by 10 feet. And then those two boxes are about five foot deep, you know, about five foot, you know, long. So it, uh, Loses a little bit of room there, but still, like I say, almost eight feet between those. So anything that's just under eight feet will be able to, you know, drive up on this boat or whatever, you know, a, a small forklift or, you know, all kinds of things. Four wheelers, set side by sides, they'll all still fit on this boat. And uh, uh, I wanted my wife's Jeep to be able to fit on here, but uh, I think that I don't have the length now. I lost a couple feet of length on this boat when that front end came up on me so high. When I cut it down for the landing craft front end, I lost two feet of the length of the boat. So my wife's Jeep 16 feet long and I only got 14 feet of deck space out there. So, uh, you know, lesson learned.
pretty happy with this walk around. It, uh, I, I let this, um, I let this rub rail extend, uh, I believe two feet beyond the transom here because the motor shelf will be on the back of the boat here and that will tie into the motor shelf and really, you know, kind of give it a lot of strength. The motor shelf will be, you know, all the way from one side to the other side of the boat with, um, the plan is to have twin 250s on it, outboard motors. So, but the walk around turned out good. Pretty happy with it. The two boxes up front turned out good. So, going back to this uh, this first bulkhead here that I showed you a minute ago got got wavy on me because uh, I was welding, you know, these triangular shaped gussets. And that's quarter inch and uh, it'd be really tough to straighten that out now so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and leave that like that and before I start welding the rest of them so they don't warp out on me that one's not too bad I, I welded up to about right here on this side um, I'm gonna use some uh, one by two rectangular tubing which is basically what the floor system will be framed with. And that's this stuff right here. It's uh, one by two rectangular tubing, eighth inch thick. It uh, is what most people use to frame their floor system and all their cabinets and everything else, you know, it's just like a two by four, except it's uh, a one by two and it's a boat, not a house. Um, this top piece, I let I let this piece come forward right here uh, because on this side, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'll probably cover it with this round tubing here. But on this other side over here, I wanted it to leave this on here like this because this is where the anchor will pull up into. There'll be a roller right here and uh, the anchor will pull up and secure into there and uh, like I said, that opening right there, I've got that piece right down there on the ground. And right here, I'm gonna take a few pieces of metal and go at an angle. And uh, go at an angle over there so that waves don't just hit this thing and beat it up. I want some kind of metal to come across here up most of the way anyway to uh, let the waves glance off it and not just hit on that flat. Uh, so I think that'll work out really well. Jump up in here real quick and get a little bit different view. So now that I got these boxes on here and uh, I'll have to get back and you know finish up on all these triangular shaped gussets and then you know I still got all that flat bar that's got to go across the boat you know 12 or 16 inch centers just to uh, stiffen that up but it just goes to show you know you need to uh, as much as you pay attention to everything you get off on you know just a bunch of welding and welding you still got to just take breaks you know and turn around and look at what's going on because uh, by not having this walk around on here, this, this, this six inch wide walk around on here and not having those boxes on there and not having that rub rail on there that's right down there on the sides, you know, things started to get away from me, started to get a little wavy on me. And honestly, I was really, really happy with the way the rub rail came out considering how, how wavy the side of the boat had gotten, you know, down the sides here from, I'm just welding this stuff on the bottom, you know, I really wasn't doing anything to the sides, but believe me, it affects it. That heat travels. That's why, like I say, you know, six inch welds are, they're better than an eight inch weld because that extra heat will just, um, yeah, it'll come back to bite you in the butt if you don't have everything tacked. And this stuff that I, I'm talking about right now, everything, this walk around, all this stuff, it's just tacked in here right now. But, uh, that's fine that holds it in place and uh, 
that's what I needed. So, turn around, sitting on this little, sitting on this walk around right now. So, so it's pretty cool. Pretty happy with those two boxes up front. And like I said, they're just tacked together right now too. So we just uh, get back to some welding here, but uh, I'm gonna, I'll take that one by two and just lay it flat right on top of these, um, right on top of these bulkheads. Tack welded underneath a few times. And uh, that way when I get back to welding these triangles with that piece of one by two laid on top there and tacked all the way across, it'll hopefully keep it from warping them out because um, there's a lot of heat there. I just need to slow down and uh, take a little more time welding it. So I'm walking back to the back of the boat now. I'll get this little piece of walk around on here tomorrow or the next day. And, uh, uh, still got a lot of welding with these triangles uh, about halfway done with those and obviously you know these are just tacked so we're talking about you know full length weld there 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 on other side underneath there on, on the outside corner so that's a lot of welding too but I'm not gonna do that right away that'll be uh, you know as we push on Eventually it will be welded all the way So there you go video number nine Thanks for watching appreciate it